Hey folks, Pastor Mark here, uh, Mount Tabor Methodist Church, and I hope you are healthy and I hope you're doing well. I sure do miss you. I sure do miss our public worship. Uh, this is not the way it was supposed to be. God created us social beings, and he created us to be in relationship with each other. So this has been hard to be restricted from being together. We're learning new things, and we're uh, finding out new things about ourselves, perhaps. Uh, but we just want to check in with you and let you know that we are following the directives of our bishop, Bishop Paul Leland, and the directives of the, uh, the policies of the Western North Carolina Conference for, for all Methodist churches. And that is to continue worshiping online at least through phase two. We sent out a communication on Friday, May the 22nd, outlining to the best of our ability what our plan going forward is. Our uh, reentry committee meets uh, twice a week. And we're constantly monitoring things and looking at what others are doing and uh, checking out uh, uh, the policies that we're getting from our conference. And things will change. Every time we meet, we tweak our guidelines a little bit. So things could change. But uh, our best guess now is that uh, public worship will still be sometime uh, in the future. We have some great worship opportunities available to you. Uh, the, on, the uh, Ignite service, the Higher Ground service, the traditional service, these are all being produced and pre-recorded and made available on Sundays. Uh, you can go back and watch them if you miss them uh, on Sunday. But there's great worship opportunities for you through them. Many of our staff are recording devotions that you can uh, watch. Uh, at least two, if not three, are going up new each week. And most of our Sunday school classes are meeting together via Zoom. If you're not a part of a Sunday school class, I would encourage you to check one out. It's a great way to be a part of, a, to, to share together, to stay connected with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Our children's ministry and youth ministry are going strong. Uh, they're meeting together, doing some fun things, and growing spiritually, doing some incredible things together uh, via Zoom uh, or online uh, media. Our mission remains the same. We gather joyfully even as we are dispersed to our homes. And we're growing spiritually as we spend more time in prayer and reading the scriptures. And we go faithfully to share God's love in the world in safe ways. Folks, this too shall pass. I know that God is with us through this, and I know he's using it. He's teaching us a lot of things. We're going to... Uh, we will be doing more things in the future using the technology that we have been learning uh, through this time. I'm reminded of the Israelites wandering in the desert for 40 years. I never thought a lot of, about how difficult 40 years wandering would be until this pandemic and being, uh, being isolated from being together in worship. But this too shall pass. Uh, one day we will be together again. And I know it won't come soon enough, but I encourage you to hang in there. Let God uh, grow us. Let God teach us the things that he wants to teach us through this. And I look forward to the day that we will be able to worship together publicly. Thanks for listening.